We want to format multiple rows in one cell so that we can understand our contents better. Should we add our data values in different cells and format them one by one? How about we try to insert multiple rows within one cell? Hello there, this is Faria Tulmin from Excel Jimmy, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates, and VBA related answers. Today, our discussion will be on how to create rows within a cell in Excel. Here is a dataset with five cells with name, state, and email address of five different people. We want them in the same cell but in a more organized way where name, state, and mailing address will stay in different rows within their corresponding cells. For that, we will use three methods with the help of Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Here, we can see that there are text strings in B5 to B9 with name, state, and email address. The texts are exceeding column B and are covering column C and column D. Let's select B5 to B9 and from the home tab under the alignment group select wrap text. Even though we have contents within column B, the values are not visible. For that select B5 to B9 again and from the home tab under the sales group select the format drop down. Here choose auto fit row height. It will arrange the row heights so that all the available data are visible to us. So we have added rows within one cell. The name, state, and email address are merged together here. Let's try other methods to get them apart within one cell. In this method, we will use the line break command to create different rows within one cell. To edit the cell values within the cell, double click on the cell. After the name, James Smith, click and now click on alter and enter keys together from your keyboard so now we can see that the name is separated and the state and email address are merged together in a new line now repeat the process for state name and email address alter and enter key there you go repeat the process for all of the records As you can see, name, state, email address, all of the values are not visible here. For that, we will use autofit row height command. Select the range B5 to B9, go to home tab and from the sales group, select the format drop down and click on autofit row height. There you go. Our names, state name and email address are separate also within one cell. In this method, we will merge rows and type again. Here in column B, there is the source data. In column D, we will merge rows and copy paste from the source cells. For example, we will use the information from B5 only. Now let's select D5 to D7 from the home tab under the alignment group, select merge and center. Let's make it middle aligned. Now, Double click on cell B5 to copy the name part. Control C to copy. Now in D5, let's write name. Now paste it using Control V. Again, double click on B5 and copy the state name. With the help of your cursor, click after James Smith in formula bar and hit Alter Enter to insert a line break. All right, state. Control V. There you go. Now double click on B5 and copy the mail address. And here, after Hawaii, click Alter Enter. Let's write email, Control V. For each five entries, you can follow the same process and you will have multiple rows within one cell. Among these three methods, you can try any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this problem with the help of the Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to solve the problem in the comment section with suggestions and feedback. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.